Sian Lau Saleh. I'm Anne and I'm from the United States of America and I love Xi'an. I'm Raina and I am from Switzerland. Embrace ancient and modern culture in the downtown Everbrand city. Taste the famous dishes of Xi'an in the amusement culture. And pay for a cup of coffee or pomegranate juice through your phone. Reiner, a Switzerland tourist who came to Xi'an for the first time, said that Xi'an has always been his dream city. I really like the the feeling in, in Xi'an, I feel like um, you can really feel the, the history of, uh, of the city and the culture and also people are very nice. We went to the Terracotta Warriors. The Warriors, they're amazing. I'll see more of them tomorrow. City Wall and the Bell Tower and the Drum Tower and the, we had um, big wide Biang Bang noodles. Those were delicious. Um, the cities are beautiful. They've done a really good job of making them attractive. So you remember this, you know how to write it, otherwise you have no idea about how to write it. But it's a sound word. At the beginning it means you stretch the noodle, bang, bang, bang on the board. The last time Reiner came to China was in 2017. After seven years, he came back and found that a lot had changed in here. There's a lot more technology, I think. So now I, have, I use Alipay and I use WeChat Pay and it's very convenient. Reiner said that, so far, China has implemented a 72, 144-hour visa-free transit policy for 54 countries, including the United States, the United Kingdom, and France. At the same time, China has implemented a visa-free entry policy of no more than 15 days for Switzerland, Ireland, Australia, and other countries. Now I can just go. It's very, very convenient. Two weeks is very good because uh, you can do a lot of traveling in two weeks, so it's very, very nice. And coming from the United States is a teacher. This is her first visit to China and to see an I didn't expect it to be this beautiful. <laughs> yeah, or clean. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I knew it was modern, um, but I didn't expect to find as many trees and plants in the city. And it was just beautiful. It was gardens. People have been so lovely. Really, really helpful, really, really nice. And that's been really nice as a solo female traveler. That's been helpful. So I would recommend China to anyone. <laughs> I want to come back and see some other things that I missed.